Okay, all right, what we got here? Where's the microphone? Okay, here it is. This is on this side. I gotta know how to use this. Welcome, everybody. We're on the air, right? All right, welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to RVT. This is RVT Rashid Video Tour. We'll talk to RMJC, Rashid News Jabak Center. And Rashid the R-Man coming on live on social media, Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms, including Instagram. Glad you guys are here. I'm just a tired broadcaster right now, doing a lot of things. But I'm glad you guys are here. You guys can be anywhere but here, and that makes me happy. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I got some shows coming up. I have uh, Generation of Unrepentant, but beforehand I have Thumbprint, and I'm working. And I was just saying about my work, guys, how much that I'm into tech so much that how many right now I'm using one computer. And I need about four computers. I need about four. You know, I'm piling everything on this one computer. And that's probably why I had problems. I, I'm not going to quote that. But I need about four computers. I usually have two. But I'm down on one right now. And I'm and I'm piling everything up on this one computer. Alright, to be honest, to be straight, I need about four computers and a good goddamn camera. And I'll be straight. So that's what I need. That's what I need. I'm really, I'm really diligent in what I do, you know. And that's what I need to get. But that's that's me. And and I'm glad you guys. So what's going on with you guys? You know, it's hot. We're in a heat wave. Um, and that's odd for this. Well, it's not really odd because I remember it was a heat wave in October when I was a cab driver. And I love my cab. I love my cab. And every, I remember that in uh, October of 90, I can't remember, it was in 97, we had a bad heat wave. i never forget it. i never, ever forget it. But, so it's not a mystery. Uh, it's not a mystery that is this is hot weather, that is hot weather. Like they say, sometimes it snows in April. It's not a mystery, so hopefully October will be seasonable. I don't know, maybe it'll be hot, but it. But back then we had a heat wave in October, and it was really scary because the leaves was turning colors and everything, but the weather was hot. <laughs> it was really scary, dude. So um, I don't know if this October will be that way, but we are having. This is September, and then we have a heat wave in September, so that's kind of like. Um, Wow, what the hell going on here type of shit. So, I don't know. We have to wait and see. You know? You never know. You never know. You never, 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 never know. Whoa, 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 whoa. You never, 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 never know. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, um... Yeah, man, I've been working. I've been working. I got this movie that's due up very, very soon. Um, I got put back because of my... And, and that's what I was saying. Also, that's what we was talking about anyway. That we was talking about how different problems are in the world. And how some problems that we have is out of our hands. Some problems we could take care of. Some problems are just out of our hands. And one of those problems was my computer going to blitz. And when it, when that happens, it's out of your hands. It's out of your hands. You know, it's just something out of your hands. And, and that, doesn't make, that doesn't mean you can't tackle the problems or handle the problems. It's just when something's out of your hands, it's out of your hands. And in the world today, it comes with an accessory. And that accessory is problems. And um, when we when when that accessory come up, some of some of those accessories you can handle, some of them you can't. You know, so that put me back. The only is no issue with working. There's no issue. The only issue is getting started again. That's the only goddamn issue is getting started again. You know, like you know, continuing on the ball roll. You know, it's really hard. Other than that, if it's just me coming on the air talking like this, this ain't shit. But, you know, this is a station. You know, this is a station here. So, I have to work on certain avenues. And 
in canals. So I'm constantly working. I'm constantly busy. There's nothing in the world like being busy. I just like to be busy. I just love. We just yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's me. We just love to be busy. I just I love what I love being active. You know, indoors, outdoors. I just like it. I like. I love the whole aspect of just working, of just 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 being busy. I just like it. You know, um, with social media, anybody could change, can go in that direction. You just gotta want to go in that direction. You know, and uh, making these um, rock casts like this is no problem. Is making the material for the shows that that's really time consuming. So that that uh, holds weight and that, that holds um, a lot of time, but it's well worth it when it's done. And I just love doing it because it it takes me in another world. You know, anything that escapes this world is fine with me. Anything that escapes this world is fine with me. And I take any avenue I could take. You know what I mean? I really, I really can. You gotta feel what I'm saying about that. And I'm par- particularly talking to people that does stuff. You could do stuff, but not even on social media. You could just do stuff. Uh, I don't know for your family, for your uh, religious organization, whatever. Because there's a lot of work. It's a lot of work inside the religious organizations also that you could go to. Like whatever religion you belong in, and get the work. They'll put you to work right away because, like the scriptures say, the work is a lot, but the the workers are few. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So they'll put you to work if you just zealous, you know. So it's plenty to do. It's it's plenty to do, you know. And just to be busy or something is really amazing. It's just awesome. It's just awesome, man. Just to be busy or something. And now the social media is here. It's like, wow, you get to be anybody you want to be. Um, theoretically, I mean, you can. I mean, like, like commonly, you can be anybody you want to be. But it's best to, in my case, I'd rather be myself and be anybody I want to be like that, rather than going to um, incognito or something and doing shit like that. I don't know. That's just Rashid, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, it's just very fascinating just to be busy today. And uh, it's too bad we ain't got nothing really to look at. Um, I heard that movie was good. They got a movie out that was really good. What's that, um, Crazy Rich Asians? No, I can't. I heard it's really good. Something like Rich Asians or something. Crazy Rich Chinese, um, shit. I can't watch it. I can't. I can't do nothing like that. Cause that, you know, that 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 that's something. That, that's something me and my ex-wife would see if I was married. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Me and my ex-wife would go see that shit. No doubt about it. But that's too bad. I'm not married to her no more. And there you go. So I ain't gonna see it. But I know she saw it. But I hope uh, they see this. Well, I ain't hoping shit. They see there's no one movie right now. They say it's beating all the movies. Whoever thought that that movie would be number one or beat all the movies. Spielberg and every fucking thing. Crazy Rich Asians or something like that. I didn't know people like Crazy Rich um, Orientals. People like watching Crazy Rich Orientals. They got to be crazy. Why can't they be normal? They got to... That's just a... Oh, that's just an expression. Oh, oh, oh. Are they, they crazy rich Chinese people or not? Or Asians? Oh. That's just a, that's a term they use. Oh, I feel that shit. Well, that's the number one movie right now. So, everybody, I didn't know people like movies like that. Like crazy rich. Um, I ain't know. I ain't know. Fuck the comic book movies then, I guess. Yeah, they doing something wrong. Anybody want to see Asia, Crazy Rich Asians? No, this movie is number Everybody, why talking and going to see this movie? So it must be good. Though. It must be something to see. You know? Nah, I, I go see the pussy. I go see the ass. I, 
No, I, I go see the ass movies, dude. I go see the movies with the woman, the Wonder Woman, shit like that. They, they, they hid Tomb Raider from me. They hid that from me. I didn't even know that was in the movies. It's hard to tell what's in the movies today because we have no media no more because they turned off the TV set. So that we have no media no more, so it's hard to see what's really in the movies. We have no media. They took it the fuck away. They changed everything to digital. And now, now we don't know what's coming out in the movie. They might fucked. So, uh, that was Tomb Raider. Because Tomb Raider came on DVD. I said, Tomb Raider was a movie I didn't know. They hid it from me. They ain't going to hide Wonder Woman from me. They're going to hide Tomb Raider from me. So, you know, that's the way they're doing shit now. I don't know. You know, Mean the Merciless. Mean the Merciless taking over America. They hide in their face and they just doing their shit. I still don't say they Illuminati because Illuminati is... I wouldn't be doing shit like this. This is crazy shit, but... The Mean the Merciless. Just call them Mean the Merciless people. Flash Gordon, enemy. Mean the Merciless. And he's and he don't want people to go to movies and watch some shit. And that's why nobody knows what's going on now. Don't hate and don't get upset. That's just the way it is. So... Go see Crazy Rich Asians or whatever. Um... Since that's what everybody's talking about, and that's what everybody like, Crazy Rich Asians, and that's the number one movie right now for the fifth week in a row or some shit. Wow, that's really amazing. That's really incredible. That's all right. That's all right. Making more rich people. That's what we need. More rich people on the planet Earth. That's what we need. All you need is one hit movie, and you break out. That's all you need is one hit movie. That's how Prince got famous off of Purple Rain. Nobody didn't even know who the fuck he was, dude, when he came out. Prince. Nobody didn't even know who he was. And as soon as he made Purple Rain, he every everybody knew who he was. It only takes one hit movie, and that can make you famous. Dude. All you need is one hit movie, though. That's the trick. You need one hit movie. You need a good script. The movie got to be good. And you can be a really mega star overnight, but you need a hit movie. And that's the Asian. They all gonna be famous. They gonna let them loose. Cause right now they so ha ha, they smiling all on the camera and shit. Ha, oh, yeah, it's a good movie. They probably all like that. But when the movie, they gonna they gonna they gonna let everybody. They gonna send them all out in the world. Now go smile to the people now because you're famous. And they gonna go out and smile to the people. They may, they, and who knows? It'll be another Jet Li or it'll be some other shit like that. Who knows? Who knows, man? You don't know what's gonna come from it. Um, starting in one of those movies like the Joy Luck Club. You know, it's hard to. It's it's glad to see that 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 that, that flavor still going on after all these years. Now I saw the Joy Luck Club when I was married. And it's good to see that that flavor is still going on. That that flavor of Orientals doing serious drama and shit. And that's good. That, that fat Greek fucking wedding shit, that failed. Cher was in that. Alright, that, the Joy Luck Club, the Asian Chinese crash, they smashed that shit. Damn, ain't that something? The Chinese, the, them fuckers, they smashed the Greek wedding bullshit. Did the Greek wedding bullshit, did, did it come out yet? Part 2 or something to the Greek wedding? Some shit. All right. Well, this crazy Asian smashed that shit. If it, it, you know, they gotta. If they didn't come out yet, they gotta be better than that crazy rich alien, um, a Asian shit. Because as far as I know, they crashed. They smashed that, um, joy on um, that Greek picnic shit. The crazy Asian shit. All these kind of foreign movies coming out now. Ever since Donald Trump said, "I want to get by way in America, get the fuck out of America." And all these, all this foreign shit coming out now. You know what I'm saying? Ever since Donald Trump started that shit. Ever since he said, "Everybody get the fuck out of America," now, now they coming back. We got something to show the world, and they coming back doing all this fucking uh, crazy mix is Asians and every fucking thing else. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing, you know. But the, you know, you say get out the country and they get famous. They get famous, you know. That's just the way it is, man. You can't get mad. You can't hate. No, you can't hate. Dude. 
just because, you know, he's not telling you to get out the country and you get famous. It only happens to some people, and that's what happened to these guys. You know? And that's all right. And as long as there's food, everybody eating, everybody got food on the table. And that's what it's about, having food on the table. You know? And I'm making thumbprint, and I got food on the table. I'm making thumbprint, and I'm very busy. And I'm into the UFO thing. And I'm getting sucked into the movie because this is. This movie is a really, really. I'm finding it a very, very interesting movie. I am. I'm finding it a very interesting movie. And it reminds me of all the UFO stories that I hear. Because they. Because one of them was Dan Aykroyd who said that he. Britney Spears. He was talking to Britney Spears on the phone. And UFO aliens was looking at him outside his window, pissed off because he's talking to Britney Spears. I'm not stu. If I'm shitting you, I'm a millionaire. Now, now y'all know I ain't shit. This motherfucker, Derek, where he said he was talking to Britney Spears on the phone when he made that crossroads because he played her father. And he said aliens was in a car across the street looking in his house, looking at him with evil looks on us. So when he hung up the phone, they drove away. They don't, I don't think UFOs like Britney Spears. I didn't, I didn't put that in a movie, thumbprint and all, but I didn't, UFOs don't like Britney Spears. But that's before Britney Spears lost her, you know, so I can, you know, so I don't know. I don't know what happened there, dude. So it kind of makes you wonder. It kind of, you know. You know, I'm just saying, that's what happened. Dan Aykroyd, see, Elias was looking at him pissed off because he was talking to Britney Spears. Mm hmm, that's what he said. And he hung up the phone from Britney Spears and the Elias left him alone. And then Britney Spears started going crazy. After, you know, so that's what happened. I don't know. That, 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 that's the situation. And, um,. It's kind of strange, but it's true. You know, I'm not gonna shit you. It's true. Um, what else? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything ain't fucking funny, guys. All right, just. Just remember, everything is fucking funny. Dude. The world is a serious place, whether you know it or not. It's a serious place. You gotta be on these kids that's back in school now. You know, they ain't had school because it's hot weather. That's that's a change in history, right there. You know, hey, we ain't got school today. Why? Because the weather's hot. You know, you know, life is changing all around, especially in America, especially in the United States of America. Things changing. So. These things you gotta go with, you know. You know anything can happen. Underdog could be a real superhero now. I mean, any fucking thing gonna break out here. And this is not the time to lose focus on who you are as an individual, as a person, as a, as as a motherfucker, as as a nigga, as as a motherfucker. This ain't the time to lose focus. All right, I'm warning you. The kids ain't got school because it's hot weather, and nobody ever heard no shit like that. So, don't. Sleep on the times, okay? Don't sleep on the times. Prince did a song, Sign of the Times, and he died. Anything can happen, dude. Anything can happen. Anything. So just keep on, keep aware of our surroundings and understand the situation we're in and in the, in the pressure that everybody's under. I'm still fucking, and the average person ain't fucking no more because they don't want to be perverts no more. It's like, I, I'm hoping that my community that I have on Google is still there. Um, it, it, it's, it's sad that we're moving in this direction and, and you know, um, everybody getting impotent. Well, they, they say, um, what they call chemical castration. Maybe that's going on in America. Uh, maybe... Maybe, I mean, I mean, the ass going, I mean, the ass is, I mean, you got to seek it, it's there, it's there, it's there, but, it's there, but, or you, that's what I'm talking about, 
See, that's the, that's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's it. I just hit. I just hit a nerve right there. That's what I'm talking about. Let me say it again. No, let me say it again. The ass is there. But are you? Are you? Do you think oversized penis is being looked at more than big asses? How much you the bet? Yeah. How much you bet? Women got the good life. Women could. Women could get. Women have the good life, dude. They could be all. They could be sick as they want. And nobody ever know. They could be around whoever they want, and they could think all kind of things that nobody ever ever know. Let a man try that, and they be like, oh, a man standing next to this person, or a man, and they got you know. Women got the good life. They could be sick asses, and never, and nobody ever fucking know. Rashid know though. That's why Rashid fuck with women all the time. Yeah, that's why Rashid fuck with women all the time, too. I was raised by women, can't you tell? I was raised by the best women. I wasn't raised by any ordinary bitch. I was raised by the best sweet women. Not just women, sweet women. My mother was sweet. My, my fact, the way I was, my, everybody I was raised around was sweet. Everybody. Nobody was sour. Only my teachers, well, not one teacher, she wasn't sour. I was like nine years old. She wasn't sour. She wasn't sour. She was a white teacher. She was a white woman. She loved me. So, and she did. She did. She did. And I appreciated that. I, I learned. She taught me. I tried to tell my parents. She told me, my mom told me to get out the TV set. She don't care. So, I had to keep enduring what, you know, I've been through at nine years old with this white teacher. And that taught me. I, I loved it. I, now, old, I loved it. I loved I, And I will continue to love shit. I had a lot of experiences in my life. That you guys probably want to know, understand about. It's a re. It's a lot of aspects of what created Rashid. It's not just like, okay, Rashid trying to be a dickhead on social media. No, it ain't that. You don't know nothing about me. None of y'all know nothing about me. You think you do, but you don't. You you want to. Some of y'all guys want to fight me and everything, but well, y'all wasting your time because y'all lost. Because Run DMC is turned preacher. You see. And y'all busy walk this way and run this, DMC this, and they turn preacher. Run DMC turn preacher. And DM, DMC is on YouTube now. And that's what happened in that. And Jam SJD, and that's why, and all y'all lost. And then right now, Michael Jordan shit, he was crying because his team was the Three Stooges. And he started crying in front of social media because his team turned out to be. They was playing series at rehearsal. But when it was time to play the game, they was in front of Michael Jordan doing the Three Stooges. And he started crying. And that was Mark. Y'all, Michael Jordan motherfuckers losing. Y'all got no music. Y'all got no movies. Because now Chinks in ruling Hollywood now. And whoever thought that crazy Chinks ruling all of American shit. See? See how it works? Y'all lost. Y'all losing. Don't hate me. Cause, don't fight me because of that. And stop hating me because of that also. It ain't my fault crazy rich Chinks running Hollywood. Don't get mad at me because of that. Um... Don't pit, don't get pissed off. I'm trying to make friends here. I don't want to make enemies. I don't like making enemies. I hate making enemies. Okay? I'm doing these... No, listen. 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 I'm doing these rodcasts. Listen. Could you listen, please? Could you listen? Listen. Listen. I ain't been on social media that long. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been on social media that long. Now, understand something. I got a lot of stories to tell when I first got on social media because if they lost, if they, well, look, I'm not, I'm not the one that, you know, if they lost, they lost, you know. If they lost, they lost, you know, you now check this out. Hey, I just thought of something. Yeah, I didn't ever think about that. I'm talking about my kids. I just thought of something. Look. There's no real winners in the world because we all die. And that's something that I found out the hard way. All right, I found out, I found out that when I was about eight years old. 
there, man. There's no more, there's no real winners in the world because we all died. But you still got these people walking around here saying I'm better than you because of some stupid shit. You know. They could be like Dumbo in it, with a feather in his nose. They holding on to shit saying I'm better than you because of this feather. And that's good. Everybody needs a feather. My dick is my feather. Nonetheless, it reminds me when I first came on social media and this woke this bitch, this this girl, this girl. So I, I was about to. I, I went to the store. I went to the store, right? And I was about. I'm a, and I still. I told this story before. I'm gonna tell it again. I don't care. I went to the store. And I got, and in the store, I got me some Jimmy Deans. Because, you know, you can't fuck with Jimmy Dean when you're hungry. You can't, there's only certain things you can't fuck with when you're hungry. And that is a pizza, Jimmy Deans, and a couple of other shit. But Jimmy Deans satisfying. It really, Jimmy Deans really satisfying. So I go and, um, I get Jimmy Dean. And this is when I first came on social media. I swear, I ain't know nobody. I didn't know nobody, dude. I, I'm not lying to you guys. And I said, because this ha- this incident happened. Yup, sweetie, you right. I said, because this incident happened, I'm going to always tell this story. I'm going to always tell this story. Always. Because it's just weird. So I'm about to eat my Jimmy Dean's. I take it out the microwave oven. And I'm about to eat my Jimmy Dean's, dude. I'm about to really eat my Jimmy Dean's. And my message on my Gmail rang. So I said, who is this? So I go. To, so I had my computer in front of me. I had my Jimmy Dean's. I had sausage. I had eggs. And I had cheese on a biscuit. Something like that. Yeah. That's what I had. With barbecue sauce, cause y'all know I like my barbecue sauce. I, I I prefer barbecue sauce other than ketchup. That's hands down on everything. So I my barbecue sauce and shit. I'm about to eat it. And it, and this bitch and, it, and my and my Gmail rang, and I answered my Gmail, and it was this girl. You know what she said? You know what she said? She said she said she said you got bad hair. She said you got bad hair. Like the hair on your head? She said you got bad hair. Now I'm sitting at the table and shit. Now I really don't know how to comment because I'm learning how to work social media. I'm learning how to work this shit. I just got on social media. I'm like, I've been on yeah for about a week. That's what I'm saying. We've been on for social media for about a week. One week and shit. So I'm about to eat my Jimmy Dean's and shit. And I'm answering, I said, how you answer this? I think I got a message. It seemed like I got a message. I said, how you answer this? So I answered it, and the girl said, you got bad hair. So I'm sitting there about to eat my Jimmy Dean's, and I'm looking at this, this fucking, my Gmail with this message in it. How the fuck, now that, now that right there should have told me what I was in for on social media. That right there should have told me. Uh, guys, do I lie to you? That's what happened to me. I'm not shaking. That's what happened to me. Good news. Today it's a brown I had a biscuit, egg, cheese, a biscuit, egg, and cheese, Jimmy Dean. You know Jimmy Dean is a red box. You get. You can go to like Wal. You can go to Walmart. My subscriber go to Walmart. You can go to. You know, sausage, egg, biscuit. No, it was a... Yeah, it was sausage, sausage, egg, and biscuit. Yeah, sausage, egg, and biscuit. Jimmy D's the best thing you can eat. They are so fucking good, man. <clears throat> so I was about to eat it. And this... I, dude, I am not shitting you. This is when I first came on social media. And this bitch called me. See, and I answered my Gmail. And it said... Rashid, you got bad hair. And I'm sitting up there going to eat my Jimmy D's. I'm like, what kind of fucking shit is this? What, what kind of, and that's, and I, and I, I, that's when I, 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 I said, I hope social media ain't like this. 
I said, I hope all the people on here, on here is not like this. I said, I swear to God. So I'm eating my Jimmy Dean, still staying in a comment, because I didn't know nothing about commenting back. Back then, you don't think like that when you first come on. You know, you don't think about... Com so I'm sitting there eating my Jimmy Dean, listen, looking at how fucking comment I got back here. I'm just staring at it, eating my Jimmy Dean's. I never fucking forget that. Baby, I never, you know, yeah, I, we'll never forget that. We'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. One of my first experiences on social media. She said I got bad hair while eating my Jimmy Dean. Well, I was just about, I mean, dude, I swear to God, I just sat down in a bell ring on my Gmail. So I said, oh, before I take a bite, let me see, you know, before I take a bite, I should have bit it first. That's a, she said, I got buried here. This bitch, she don't even know me. She ain't never saw me see me before. Jesus. That's what happened to me, dude. I'm not kidding you. That's what happened to me. That's what I want a lot of you guys. That's what happened to me. She said, I got bad hair. I'll eat my Jimmy fucking dick. See, that's why I don't like people. That's why I don't like white people. That's why. That's why I like. That's why. That's why I don't like black people. That's why. That's why I don't like. That's why I don't like no. But that's why. I, that's why everybody hate me. That's why everybody hate me, dude. And and that's why everybody gonna keep hating me, dude. That's why everybody gonna keep hating me, man. Listen to this and kiss my ass. How about that? This week, time helps you understand the spoils of war, the diplomatic and human costs of victory in Lebanon and the Falklands. Read time and understand. How you like that? Not good enough? Listen to this then. I don't give a shit. It's fun being a loser. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's different in living in a world with a living room. You understand? It's different than living in a world with a living room. It's fun being a loser. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? It's different than living in a world with a living Jim Jones. See, Jim Jones lost. See, he thought that he could bring his people to a utopia, and they lost. And Ryan went down there and stuck his nose and shit and got a bullet up his ass for sticking his nose and shit. And the world is always going to be all these democracies and shit, and we got to live in it. I don't care how people think about me. I don't care. I, don't, I really don't care how people, what people think about me. I never care. I never care and I never will care. Because I know who I am. I'm a great guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. You understand? I'm a good guy. Kentucky Fried Chicken is... I know that I'm about to say the same thing, dude. Man, what if we had some Ch Kentucky Fried Chicken tonight? Jesus, man. They should give away these free chicken, man. Oh, my God. God, it's some good chicken. Jesus, man. I got to calm down, man. Oh, my God, man. I love some KFC, man. 
I've been eating KFC for so long. Ever since I was a cab driver, I love KFC. I just love it so I love food, man. One thing about Sadisi is we love food. I love some food, man. I guys, I'm not kidding you. I love food. But I make sure I don't get too overweight, you know. I got you know I make sure I don't get too overweight. I love some food, man. That's my weakness and shit. Food. I love to eat. I love to eat, man. Gosh. Eat and then get and start doing nasty pervert shit is the is the evening of all evenings. I swear to God. Where you ain't got nobody to have fun with, you know, when you ain't got nobody to have fun with if you eat. You eat and just do some like you know, that kind of stuff and shit. It's fun, dude. Get a full stomach on a full stomach is always better than an empty stomach. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Empty stomach could be fr- could be fun though. It could be fun. Cause then when you finish you you could eat right there when you finish. Either way you look at it, being a pervert is great. Now listen to this. I like y'all listening to me. I got some mature stuff coming up, but I just want to, I got I can't have RVT sitting. I can't do that, guys. It's against Rashid's laws. I got to put up a broadcast, and I don't want to talk about this stuff that everybody's talking about. I don't, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to talk about all this shit that everybody's talking about. You know, this I just don't want to do it. I want to be myself on social media. And just understand that, guys. I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk about nobody. Nobody giving me nothing, dude. Nobody giving me nothing. It's all about Rashid around here. I got my stories, my news. You know, I don't, I don't want to talk about nobody else. Because nobody don't care about me. They don't care about me, dude. Nobody don't care about me. Dude. They don't care about none of us. That's why we all together now. Y'all know that's why we all together. I ain't talking about that old shit. Somebody, somebody. This what they see in my... I mean, it's interesting stuff. I'm not saying it's not. It is. It's just, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. I want to be myself. I want to talk about other stuff. I want to talk about, I don't know, why, do, you know, we, what happened to religion now? Why everybody atheists all the fuck around, around? What's this shit? Talk about that. Talk about that. Talk about that. Uh. Let me talk about that old he said, they did this, they, 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 well, I'm going to tell you something. When they hear you talking about them, they smile, dude. Think about that. They say nothing wrong with that if it's worth talking about. But they smile. They say, look, they talking about me and shit. Uh, it's not, I ain't got a problem with that. It's just, I don't want to talk about nobody because I don't want nobody looking at me thinking, Oh, Rashi making me keep talking with that. I'm about us, about shit. On a, what, what do we, how do we feel about shit? Y'all know what I'm saying? How do we feel about shit? I don't give a fuck what the subject is. How do we feel about it? If we don't talk about them, we don't give a fuck about it. Though. It's that simple. How do we feel? They ain't talking about us. They ain't talking about us, dude. Ain't nobody talking about us, man. So I just want y'all to understand when I do these broadcasts, I might come off and talk about something serious. I, I might. But it's not likely that I'm going to do it. Because I want it to be about us. Damn it! Style. With an exciting 
exciting full collection of denim and corduroy jeans in a rainbow of colors. Gloria Vanderbilt by Mershani and the Gap bring you the fit that stops traffic wherever you go. Fall into the Gap. Have a Gloria Vanderbilt fit at the Gap. Talk about the white woman ass. Talk about the, talk about the Indian woman ass. Talk about, I don't know. Go to movies and go see rich Asian women. And you know rich Asian women and they showing their ass crack. Let me be quiet because I want to go see it because of that. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be like pervert sitting in there looking for rich Asian women ass crack. But do I do it? If I, you know, if I wanted to. If, well, if I had a chance, I would. Nah, we wouldn't see no rich Asian shit. Nah, nah. We, that's for young people. That's, that's for uh, the glee. That's a, look like that Glee crowd, crowd who like that Glee shit. I think I think those kind of people watch that shit. Right for that Michigan Asian shit. That's the Glee shit. They got that Glee shit the fuck out of here. Huh? All that high school music. Thank fucking God. Jesus Christ. I don't want to fuck up nobody fucking head, but I'm just saying, dude. Thank Jesus on the throne. That shit out of here. Thank Allah. They think Allah got Muslims waiting. That's out of here. Jesus Christ. See, that don't fucking bullshit. Anyway, um, let me get out of here, guys. I might be up tomorrow. I might be up tomorrow again. I'm going to keep us entertained till I get this thumbprint up here. Because this is a long movie. And y'all got to be patient with me, okay? So, stick around my RV for my... RV, stick around on my Google Plus page. <laughs> for Rashi content. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. See ya.